Do we have ice cream? Let's go! Do, 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 do. Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Wolfie and today I am back with something more special than anything I've ever done. I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers make videos about this, so I thought why not try it out? What if I told you that with this massive ball, I can make you ice cream from scratch? All that you guys gotta do is go down and smash that like button! Let's hit 200,000 likes. For every like that we get on this video, we have that much more good luck at making this actually work. Because basically if we unbox it right here, hold on guys, give me a second. It just looks like your average exercise ball, but it can make ice cream too. So we always give the likes. Wolf fam, go down, smash that like button. Let's hit 200,000 likes on this video. And this is gonna work phenomenally. I bought it back in the day, guys. So basically, guys, I picked up two of these balls on Amazon. I'm not gonna read the instructions for them because I would never read instructions. Oh, shit, the orange ball is bigger than the blue ball. So we have two different size balls. And to make the ice cream, all you gotta do is put some ingredients on both sides and then move it around a lot. You can kick the ball, you can throw it around, you can baseball bat it. And by the way, I happen to have a baseball bat today. So I guess let's just check this out. Firstly, if we open this, hatch okay so we twist this off so inside you guys will see this is where we fit I think you put the ice and this is the side that you actually make the ice cream in so if you just check there's just a hole in this side and then on this side there's a hole with a lot of room for ice around the rim so that brings me to my next step I've got a shitload of ingredients here what you're gonna need to make it is milk more milk more chocolate milk you're also gonna need waffle cones actually you don't need waffle cones you can get whatever cones you want any cone to hold the ice cream in if you're on a diet like me diet wolf you guys already know I'm always on a diet you won't want to use too much of the sugar but right now for you guys I'm doing this for you guys since I'm doing a video I want to make the ice cream as sweet and as delicious as possible so we're gonna use all the fucking sugar and then lastly I got some actual ice cream so I can compare the ice cream I make to actual store-bought ice cream just to see if I'm a god at DIY and then like I said I also picked up some salt from the store as you guys can see this salt is in like big white crystals the reason I got this type of salt is because this salt can make ice way colder than ice is by itself I don't know the science behind it I'm not a freaking scientist Ryan you know what oh because the higher good Hydrogen can block side. The hydrogen can block side. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Exactly that reason guys, hydrogen blow oxide. And then lastly, I picked up a bunch of flavors. So today we are making peppermint ice cream and we are also making vanilla ice cream. So the first step you're gonna wanna do is break up your ice. And uh, try not to cut your hand while you do it, like me. Guys, always fucking bleeding in my videos. I do it for the wolf fam. Gone wrong, in the hood, gone viral. You already know what it is, crush it up. And we're gonna throw it into the ice, to the ice side. Let's get as much ice as we can fit in here. Oh, already that sounds great. Oh shit. Just don't spill any on the ground. If you can't spill any on the ground, shove it in. Just... I thought I had enough ice. I don't have that much ice, and I'm wasting ice. Kids in Africa could have chewed on this ice, so don't wanna waste any ice. Okay, so now once we fill this up with ice, we wanna break out the salt. There is not a limit on how much salt you can put in. Like I told you guys, this is the crystallized salt, so it's like thicker than regular salt. <laughs> and like I said, the ice is gonna be freezing now. Close it nice and tight. Shake it around. Now once that side's done, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna grab our milk. I don't do measurements on this channel, but today we're gonna do, can't find the measuring cups, we're not gonna do measurements. I really don't know how much, you know what? Pull up these instructions. I'll be back in a sec. Keep filling until you use about half of your two liters of milk. So I see, that's pretty good. Now, what's the next step? I'll be back guys. Like I was saying guys, I completely know what I'm doing right now. We're gonna grab the sugar. So we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of sugar into this ball. One, two, and one more, just for good luck. The more sugar, the more flavorful your thing's gonna be. Who the fuck is calling you? Hello? Shut the fuck up. It's still raining. <laughs> Next, we're gonna grab our vanilla flavoring and pop it open. We're gonna use around a tablespoon. This stuff is extremely potent, so if you use too much of it, it's gonna taste like ass. If you want ass ice cream, great stuff. Like, I recommend it to everyone. Okay guys, so we have a tablespoon and a teaspoon, but what I like to do to ensure we get a more accurate measurement is grab one of these. These are the two options I recommend. So one teaspoon is about 1 57th of this. Way easier to measure. So now we're just gonna take the ladle, dump it in there. We're gonna put the lid on, make sure it's nice and tight, guys, and leave this one outside until we finish the peppermint. One. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, I just moved it outside and it already has a leak. I might have put too much milk in. I don't know, but look at this. Instant milk to ice and to trick. <laughs> look at us. Close it tight. What? So we're gonna duct tape it. So we're gonna repeat the same process with the blue one, except we're gonna make peppermint ice cream. And we're gonna use chocolate milk because I know a lot of you at home probably like your chocolate mint. I don't personally like it, but I'm gonna make it because I don't discriminate, guys. It's all about every flavor generation getting along. Just love, guys. Just love 2017. Make sure it's nice and cold. Move on to the milk side. I'll be back. So, we got the one side open. Look at that silky smooth flow. Not gonna put as much milk as the last one because that might have fucked us up. And last but not least, we're gonna grab the peppermint flavoring. 
God, that's potent. And we're not gonna measure this one, we're just gonna go perfect. On the count of three, I'm gonna flip it upside down. Please, just don't leak on me like that ball. These are brand new out of the package. I didn't mess around with these. So why are they leaking? Why is it leaking? <laughs> Why is it leaking? Okay guys, now for the fun part. So now we have 15 minutes to make this into ice cream. So basically, in the instructions it says, Warning, do not drop, kick, throw, or bounce. So if you guys know my channel by now, of course you know I follow the rules. I'm not a rule breaker. I always follow the instructions. I never do anything wrong. <laughs> Don't ever tell King Wolfie not to throw it. <laughs> So apparently guys, if you just kick it around, then it should turn into ice cream. So I used to play a little bit of soccer back in my day. <laughs> God, ah, it's so heavy. If you want to turn it into ice cream, you just got to deco the light skin. So come here. Oh, oh my God, turn it into that ice cream. Hot potato the ice cream. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's solid, bro. That's solid. Don't ever try that, guys. That actually Too fuck off. Play golf with the Louisville Slugger. Four. See how I broke didn't even move. Basically, guys, this ball is gonna turn into ice cream if you just move it around. That's all you gotta do. Move it around. So why not have some fun while moving it? A little bit of rugby. So it also said, don't bounce, right? I like that. Don't bounce. But come on, bro. What was that? All right, guys, <laughs> don't bounce it because it might actually explode. Next, the stairs test. I'm going to duct tape the big one open because it was leaking earlier, so I don't want it to spill all over my mom's stairs. Yeah. Duct tape this bad boy, guys. As every grandmaster would say, no duct tape is too much duct tape. So now that we got a duct tape, it's ready to go down the stairs. Yay! That was way too slow. Yay! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to leak, so one more, guys. One more. Enough of the stairs. No more stairs. No more stairs. Tommy, didn't see this So guys, I got a hammock. I have not used it, as you can see, since the summer. But perfect opportunity. Where's the other ball? Actually, you know what? The other ball gets a separate hammock. Now we're gonna give it the old shaker room. Give it a yo. Three sixty. Ryan, hold this side. Hold this side. Ah! You guys ever, as a kid, want to do this on the swing? Just give it a nice back and forth, and then yo. Double. Double. Quadruple. Overkill! Oh, oh, oh. Nine to kill! Bro, keep going! <laughs> Yo, let go, see what happens. I'm cheese. On this one, we're just gonna go brute force. Yo, I know you're gonna hit me with that snowball. Yo, 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 yo. You guys ever wonder what we do in Canada when it's cold? Ah. We make our own bowling pins and we go bowling with the ice cream ball. <laughs> Turkey. I'm kind of running out of things to do with this thing. Other than. Yo. Oh. Sorry about oh. that, bro. Guys, if I hit where Ryan hit on the wall, hit that like button. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> so we're basically done the shaking process. We're gonna give it an intense shake for the last 30 seconds just to make sure this all turns into ice cream. So just when you shake it, you wanna just make sure that uh, you don't wanna be seductive at all when you shake it. Just uh, come on, take the shake, take the shake. Uh, okay, shaking is done. Now one more water bottle trick shot. <laughs> Imagine. Now is where I need your help. All the good luck I can get. Smash that like button, please. This is a one take thing. If I put too much milk, we screwed up. Please just give me ice cream. Okay, guys, so here we go. Do we have ice cream? We have ice cream! It's a little slushy, but that is ice cream, guys. There is ice cream inside of this ball right now. So I'm gonna pop over my waffle cones, guys. Next, we're gonna grab a spoon, and we are gonna scoop. It's a little slushy, but you know what? It'll do. So this is the final product of ice cream. Taste test made from a ball. That's actually blessed. I don't like chocolate mint ice cream, and I might have put a little too much mint in there, but the chocolate's blessed. Your boy's DIY God is back in this bitch. Thank you for the thumbs up, guys. This is phenomenal. How blessed is that? Bro, what the hell? You see what I'm saying, guys? Sugar, flavoring, milk, ice, salt, and ball. That's all you need to make the best ice cream in the world. Bongo, you want some? Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah bro, it's so lit. You bro, this is lit. It's what? lit AF. It's a little drippy, but it's so dope. Okay, the last shakes of the orange ball. This one's gonna be blessed because this one's vanilla. Everybody loves the classic vanilla ice cream. And three, two, one. Get our waffle cone out because I'm ready to taste test this before it melts too. Oh, this one's like fluffy. I think where I went wrong is I just put a little too much milk and a little too less ice. That's the only problem, so just don't follow my advice. Just follow the advice and the instructions and you should be fine. And if you own this company, you should definitely send me a sponsorship. Taste test. This is blessed. This one is way better than the first one. 
Honestly, I give that one like an 8.5 out of 10. If it was more solid, yo, this is actually lit, trust me. Mm. Auntie, it's kind of like a frosty. This one's like, um, really good. I don't even know how to describe it. This is just French vanilla ice cream, Bongo. It's wavy. Bro, what the hell? This one is nice. So you heard it here, folks. Now, just to refresh my memory, I'm gonna try the basic vanilla ice cream just to like see which one is actually better. I haven't had this one in a while, but we'll crack it open. Honestly, shit, compared to mine, I'm joking. This one's still better than my ice cream, but this one's pretty damn good. Chocolate, mint, ah! Vanilla is where it's at. I'll definitely have a scoop of this one again. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do not forget, like I said a billion times in the video, go down, smash that like button, let's hit 200K. Thank you for all the good luck. I could not have done this without you guys. Also, shout out to my two boys behind the camera, my nigga Bong Gizzles. I love that. And YouTube.com slash Ryan Swayze. Go subscribe to both of them if you haven't already. They both make banger content. I'm in a few of their videos. I mean, watch me over there. I'll leave a link to their channels at the top of the description. Also, comment down below what other weird inventions you want me to try out. It's a click of a button, you know. I can just order it off Amazon and hopefully succeed for you guys. Probably fail. 90% of the chance of the rain shine, I'll fail. But there is that close percentage chance that I might actually do it. Anyways, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys soon with another banger video. And as always, stay savage. Lego.